brother. So this is just kind of broke, breaking news actually, courtesy of BBC News, just one hour ago. Boris Johnson, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, has basically quit as an MP with immediate effect um, because of the report concerning all the parties that are happening during COVID, essentially the party gate report that's happening here in the UK, which is quite interesting, isn't it? It's interesting to see the residual damage that's been caused by some of these politicians, higher ups in society who took the absolute piss during the peak of the pandemic when we were all locked down at home we couldn't go outside especially in the uk we had fucking crazy rules about what time you could go outside in terms of curfews there were fines that were maybe going to be in force you couldn't gather in a certain amount of number of groups of people just nonsense stuff right and for whatever reason they were going really really hard in terms of telling the civilians or the citizens that what they couldn't couldn't do but little did we know behind closed doors these guys were doing the complete opposite of what they were advising us they were gathering in place they were having parties they were drinking and shit they were doing all the stuff that we were allowed we were told we weren't allowed to do and they were doing it during again the peak of the pandemic i think this would have been somewhat forgivable if it was happening towards the tail end or if they just were somewhat congruent of what they said to what they did but the hypocrisy of it during the peak of the pandemic when they were telling us to you know wear a mask and mask saves lives and you know be 10 feet distance from people these motherfuckers are having sausage rolls in the fucking parliament buildings um dining rooms and stuff and sniffing coke in the flipping bathrooms and you know dancing around to fucking tom jones songs and shit whilst we have to kind of you know stay in place at home absolutely awful so I, for one, am kind of happy to see that the cons there, there has been some consequences to this, right? Um, that they didn't just all get away with it. They kind of did, but they didn't because Boris Johnson's reputation has been forever, forever tarnished. And it's just funny because he's somebody that, you know, is, is not without his controversy, but to find that his legacy is now going to be essentially um, rested entirely on what he, how he dealt with COVID and the pandemic and all the parties that are happening whilst we're all kind of locked down is kind of hilarious to see, to be honest. But also, speaks to the anger that kind of fills the hearts of most citizens and most pe regular people you know because people lost family members some people couldn't go to fucking funerals because of the lockdowns but all these motherfuckers were out here doing what they were doing anyway the report courtesy of bbc says as follows i've been forced out of a party gate report uh, boris johnson is now is to step down as an mp with immediate effect after receiving the party gate report that report by the mp led privileges committee looked into whether he misled parliament over a lockdown breaking parties at downing street Mr. Johnson accused the Commons inquiry of attempting to drive me out. In a statement on he said they were still they, they still not have they still not produced a shred of evidence that I knowingly or recklessly misled the Commons. Earlier on Friday he received a copy of the yet to be published report which claimed um he was which which he claimed was riddled with inaccuracies and reeks of prejudice. Lols. Look, Boris Johnson saying he's been <laughs> prejudiced. Oh, I fucking love this guy. Um, in evidence given to the Privilege Committee in March, which Johnson admitted to misleading the Parliament, but denied doing so on purpose. Of course he didn't do it on purpose. How did he know? He's just a little baby. He doesn't know. Um, he said the social distancing had been not been perfect at gatherings at the Downing Street during COVID lockdowns, but he said that there were essential work events. Does that look like a fucking essential work event to you? A whole table full of fucking pret a manger sandwiches and people standing around drinking room temperature fucking tango and, you know, whatever it may be. Come on, man. That's not an essential place. Look at that guy here. Look how he's dressed. If you ask an essential work meeting, I don't think so. It continues. He assisted the guidelines as understood as he understood them were followed at all times. Announcing he would step down, the former prime minister issued a lengthy statement on Friday evening in which he said, I did not lie. I believe that in their hearts, the committee know it. They know perfectly well. When I spoke in the comments, I was saying what I believed to say to be true and what I had briefed to say like any other minister. I love that political speech, isn't it? That's a great way to not admit you're lying, right? That's an amazing way to not admit you're lying. Um, when I spoke in the Commons, I was saying what I believed sincerely to be true and what I had been briefed to say. So you can't essentially say you were lying under oath because in that moment, what I believed to be true was this. Sorry, baby. I believed that that woman that I slept with the other day was you. At that, at that time, I believed that it was you. <laughs> it was not my intention to break your heart. 
I, at the t at that time, I believed that I was impregnating you. I did not believe I was impregnating some hussy on the street. I'm so sorry. Take me back. <laughs> it continues. Which also said that he was corrected and the record has soon been possible and claimed that committee members know that. He said that the current prime minister and then the occupant of the same building, which is Sunak, also believed they were. He condemned the committee as a kangaroo court. That's infested the kangaroos and claimed that it was on purpose from the beginning and he had been found guilty regardless of the facts. Cool. That aside, right? That aside, you know what's the worst thing about fucking Boris? You know the worst thing about this guy? The, the worst thing about him is shit like this. Look at this fucking shit. If you want proof Boris Johnson honors this as a joke, he's given an OBE. He's given an award from, from the royal family, right? A fucking honor. Uh, I think he's officer of the British Empire. That's what it means, OBE. To his fucking hairdresser, Kelly Joe Dodge. His hairdresser, this guy whose hair looks like this when he wakes up, recommended his hairdresser to get an OBE. <laughs> do you know how corrupt and how crooked you have to be to do that? So brazenly. <laughs> Off of the back of you throwing parties and raves in the House of Commons during the peak of the pandemic. Here you are, one parting shop. Let one parting shot to the fucking public a big f you to the fucking regular folks out there trying to make it work you fucking try and recommend your fucking hairdresser for a flipping obe the hairdresser of boris johnson whose hair looks like that whose hair looks like he fucking combs it with a fucking balloon this guy wanted to give his hairdresser a fucking a fucking award imagine that an obe what absolute lunacy for that alone he should have stepped down to be honest for that alone he should have fucking stepped down but anyway big up boris he goes out and fucking flamed no longer an mp we're probably gonna see him on fucking dancing with the stars or some nonsense soon most likely i reckon um because you know he's a fucking fame whore and he loves the sound of his own voice so we're not gonna get rid of him anytime soon but what an absolute psycho of a guy man absolute psycho <laughs> sometimes i think these guys like the lack of self-awareness is pretty 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 crazy